2007, he came to Utah as an All-American junior college transfer, and Matt Asiata did not disappoint. But in his first game as a Ute, a leg fracture sidelined him for the season. Then in 09, Asiata again suffered a season-ending injury, this time to his knees. Some guy, guys might have said enough, but Sammy Lamba found out that is not Matt Asiata. Granted a six-year of eligibility by the NCAA, the Ute running back is back with his team and continuing to chase his football dream. Matt Asiata, captain of the 2010 Utes. Matt Asiata, bounding through tacklers. Namesake of the so-called Asiata formation. Again, Kane will line up wide in the Asiata package. And again, Asiata will keep this time. It's Pater, touchdown. A father figure in more ways than one. I'm really blessed to have three kids with you know, my, my junior high sweetheart, I should say. And, uh, you, know, was, you know, I like it. <laughs> you really go I'll give it to you after. You don't like to share. <laughs> Matt and his wife, Tongi, are the proud parents of two girls and a boy. The oldest is Nana. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. She just really started, she's, yeah, she just really started kindergarten. No I think, that, yeah, yeah, that was the hardest moment in my life. <laughs> he was standing by the door literally for like the whole, we were like the only parents there. When the bell rang, we were still there. I was like, we have to go. <laughs> A milestone like so many, the Asiata family has crossed. Some carefree, like holidays spent at the park. <laughs> run, 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 run. Others, heartbreaking, like that fateful moment in 2009 in the game against Louisville. It was just four games into his senior season when Matt heard the dreaded diagnosis, a torn ACL. You know, in my heart, my dad always told me to never give up. Within days, Matt had made the decision to undergo surgery and rehab his knee back to football strength. He knew it would take an NCAA decision to grant him a sixth year of eligibility, which they did. And in his downtime, he discovered a silver lining. The free time he had last year, he spent a lot of time with the kids. And so it was, I mean, it was good for him. And he realized it too. He was just like, I can't believe, you know, this is what you guys do when I'm not <laughs> at home. You know, I look into their eyes, got me more motivated. Um, got me pushing to do rehab every day. It was all mental. Um, you know, I didn't want to do it. Being with the kids just reminded him that that's what he, you know, this is what he's working towards is to provide for our family and just, you know, kind of accomplish whatever he's been working towards this whole time. He also gets the chance to play at Utah with his younger brother, Sean, also a JC transfer who just joined the Utes this season and who is the namesake of his youngest daughter, Shawnee, affectionately nicknamed Monster. Uh, describes her just like how my brother is, <laughs> a monster. Uh, you know, she's... Yeah, uh, she's a ringleader in our house. Not so different from her dad on the field. Kane, and here's Asiata again. Asiata plants a foot, cuts it up, and inside the five, touchdown Utah! Trying to be a father figure on the football field too, you know, with the, the freshmen coming in, you know, not, not having the, the father figure that they had at home, you know, coming to another state. We know we've been blessed to even come this far. Like in high school, it was, I mean, he wanted to go to college and play, but you know, five years ago, we never knew we were going to be here at Utah or... Yeah, I know what I want, and I'm going to keep striving for it. Matt hopes to earn a second invite to the NFL Combine by proving to scouts this season that his knee injury is a thing of the past. In this sea of 45,000, he says, it's easy to find his motivation. You know, I can, I can mute everybody else, and I can just hear them, you know, in the stadium. And, uh, you know, it just gives me the goosebumps when I, you know, come out and just, just hear them call daddy. Win. First and ten. Asiata. Breaking a tackle. Gets himself down to the five. Yeah, it's just, you know, if I get to make it to that next level, you know, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep playing and keep playing until, you know, my bones are broken. <laughs> and, you know, I'm trying to, you know, retire and just, just watch my son grow up and my kids. Yeah. And watch him play football, probably coach him. Yeah. You know, that's, that's one of my, uh, my main goals, you know, is just to coach my, my son after, you know, NFL career. You gotta run this way. 
And just like that, a new star running back is born. Did you teach him that? Oh, uh, he, he learns from watching TV and watching practice. <laughs> At the West Valley City Rec Center, I'm Sammy Leinbaugh for The Mountain. Thank you, Sammy. It's time for another break on the Mountain Sports Report. When we come back, we'll catch up with one of the top women's golfers in Mountain West history. She's a pro now and looking to improve her game with every swing. We'll check in with her former team as well.